Uh, good morning, everyone. Before I begin, let me just say, Bishop Gates, you have made it very easy for me to do what I'm about to do. <laughs> Two hours ago, you talked about congruity and the importance of it being the task of everyone. I'd also like to say, Diane and Katie, you also underscored the same thing with that wonderful video you, you showed on being church. After all, it is about raising up the young. Everything seems to dovetail towards what is congruent, and it fits absolutely perfectly in our strategy. Let me just take this opportunity to remind you about what this is all about. The annual mission and diocesan grants are part of the $500,000 mission tied monies from the campaign that the bishops and council are distributing. The council grants are in the amount of $25,000, one grant per year over four years, and this started in 2012. No organization can be awarded more than one grant. Applicants and applications were due September 15, 2014. A review committee met and made its recommendation to the full council where it was approved unanimously. The organization selected by the Diocesan Council demonstrated strong relationship with diocesan leadership in its partner country. It exemplifies an expansion of local capacity and an investment in local resources and people that support self-sufficiency and economic development. <clears throat> Here are some of the treasures that were noted by the readers of the grant. This grant is being given to this organization because the program is scalable, it's sustainable, and it's portable. It enjoys financial and relational support from at least seven other congregations in, the, in this diocese. It has hosted 13 of our priests over the past several years. The grant helps to address the extreme poverty and violence that are the main dimensions of a sense of hopelessness experienced among afflicted children. The recipient provides a direct alternative, providing a safe home, education, Christian values, love, and vocational skills so that the children have an opportunity to break the cycle of poverty into which they were born. I imagine by now, you want to know who is the recipient of this year's grant. Well, the suspense is over. This year's grant is awarded to El Hogar Ministry and Epiphany Church, Winchester, Massachusetts. say a little something about who they are. I told you what it is. Okay. El Hogar was formed in 1979 as a mission of the Episcopal Diocese of Honduras to provide a home for orphans who would otherwise be living in the street. It was incorporated by the Right Reverend Rob O'Neill, founding president. El Hogar now has a Honduran board as well as a U.S. board, which includes five members of the Church of the Epiphany. The grant expands the dairy program in its vocational high school to teach business skills to students and provides a model micro-enterprise development and support that is complementary to existing operations. Producing a variety of cheeses, the enterprise is expected to be profitable after a year and is potentially scalable for other applications within the country and beyond. As a result, this milk and cheese micro-enterprise project develops marketable skills in participants, including business management skills, 
usable in a variety of endeavors. Skills are brought by the graduates to other villages and are used thereby improving the level of prosperity in rural towns. Production will feed 250 students and 75 staff of El Hagar and will be sold in local marketplace, producing a source of revenue for the school itself. Now, over the past 15 years, El Hagar has enjoyed a strong, enduring relationship with the Epiphany Church. To make this award doubly sweet, we just learned that El Hagar and El Hagar donor will match this grant. Today, we are very happy to present the check to the right Reverend Thomas Brown. <laughs> <laughs> And that on a very low budget. <laughs> I said, right, okay. <clears throat> of Epiphany Winchester. As well as Liz Kenchen, Executive Director of the Ministry. Thank you very much. Okay. In the beautiful country that is Honduras, many of you have been there and there are mountains. There are also mountains of poverty and Claudette has just spoken about what this grant is going to do. I want to thank all of you and I also want to recognize the many of you who come from churches who have been there. If you are part of the Eligar family, uh, please stand so that we can See recognize you. Yeah, you. Yeah, please. Thank you very much. And, and if your faith community is seeking a place to engage global mission of some kind, please speak with us. It's a wonderful place to go. And it's a wonderful place not only to transform the lives whom we serve, but to transform our own lives. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. I just want to say one thing. On behalf of the 250 children and young people and their families of El Agar, I want to say thank you to this diocese and to say how wonderful it is to be part of a diocese that is so mission and outreach oriented. So thank you. <laughs>